Welcome to John Does Penny Stocking. Did anyone ever tell you that I like pink because gay's the new great baby? Anyway, living the dream, green, six out of seven days, building consistency. It's a little bit with the high price stocks, but that does not mean. I'm running away from the penny socks. I'm still looking at them. And there's a great example by Mark Crook here of why volume can trump every other indicator. Let's check it. Fucking out shizzle me dizzle. This is Mark Crook, a live webinar. He's just, just got into MOSY, so let's dive in. Let's see his thought process. Let's see what's going on. Come everybody to Thursday's webinar. And I just got into a trade that's not looking so great at the moment. Um, this is Mosey, M-O-S-Y, piece of trash stock, trading near all-time lows, bad sushi. I hate, hate, hate um, these kind of plays, but uh, but I do like the volume. It's traded over 20 million. Uh, somebody in chat just said that they have a ton of warrants. Uh, which doesn't surprise me. All these penny stocks have warrants. Uh, Years had warrants. TTNP had warrants. Uh, they all went up, um, but TTNP was a fantastic short, fantastic dip buy, and fantastic reshort. So, uh, plenty of opportunity to to cash in on on the volatility on TTNP. I almost reshorted it actually at 48 49 decided not to but that was an easy uh well I wouldn't say easy but was a, certainly a good risk reward short uh this was a nice bounce opportunity uh just so much volatility and straight out of penny stocking framework um you know if you if you really understand the patterns and the dip buying um strategies that 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 we teach uh, especially on these recent hot uh, penny stocks I mean it, it, they all make for for they all are variations of the pattern but they tend to be good um, opportunities to make money on small accounts So uh, MOSY, I am long at 33, but clearly it, it got crushed off of that high and in, in, in the high 33. So, um, you know, I'm down a penny a share. And if it can't bounce here shortly, I'll take it off. But, um, you know, this is penny stock 101, you know, trashy kind of low price play and uh, clearly not you know not ideal bad sushi type of play I don't know if they've had if they had news or this is let me see here yeah it doesn't look like they had any news so um, You know, we'll see if this if this can reclaim the highs shortly. If not, I'll I'll be out. But um, you gotta understand. I mean, these these trashy low price penny stocks are down in the gutter for a reason. Yeah, and very interesting. And I think it's all about building the case, and that's what Tim Bourne says as well. So when he's kind of listing a number of reasons why it's not a good buy, but then the volume makes it a good buy, it's kind of like conflicting indicators, so should you really be in it? I mean, it's it's a tough one. Let's see if it worked out in the end. Yeah, and he had the right read on that. Obviously, the volume's been important because he's bought it on this high of daybreak. Uh, the high of the daybreak, 31s. He's took it up in the 33. 33s ish, 32s, slam back down to the 31, 31 50s. 
providing he's held where he said he was going to hold, risking this high of day level, previous high of day level, ripped up into the 30s and then the 40s, which is uh, risking a couple of cents to make 10 cents ultimately for five to one risk reward. It's a nice trade. It shows you that you can trade bullshit if it's got volume. And that's a wrap. I'll see you later. There's nothing exciting coming. Just fucking rejoice. Praise the Lord. And I'm on three out of three green days this week. Green week. Starting off a green month ideally. So if that all comes to fruition. There's an exciting surprise on Saturday. Fucking stay with us motherfuckers. Faster, stronger, better. Learning how to be a fucking man.